This question says a 1.42 gram sample of a pure compound with formula M2SO4 was dissolved in water and treated with excess calcium chloride, aqueous calcium chloride, resulting in the precipitation of all of the sulfate ions as calcium sulfate. It says the precipitate was collected, dried, and found to weigh 1.36 grams and wants us to determine the atomic mass of M and figure out which atom M represents. So I've written out what that equation would look like, M2SO4 mixed with excess calcium chloride to form calcium sulfate, the precipitate, and then whatever the remaining compound must be MCL because it takes the cation from M2SO4 and the anion from calcium chloride. We can balance this real quick. There are two M's and two chlorines on the left, but only one each on the right. So putting a two here balances this equation. It tells us that we have 1.36 grams of calcium sulfate at the end. And we know the molar mass of calcium sulfate, so we can simply figure out how many moles of calcium sulfate there are. We know that um, the molar mass is 136.14 grams per one mole of calcium sulfate. Then, based on this balanced chemical equation we have up here, we can convert between moles of calcium sulfate and moles of M2SO4. That's a one-to-one -one ratio here. Um, this is one mole of calcium sulfate. is one-to-one -one with M2SO4. be an M here. Okay, and with this we can cancel out units, grams cancels, moles cancels, and we're left with moles of M2SO4. This answer is 0 0.01 moles of M2SO4. So based on the mass of precipitate formed, we can figure out what the number of moles of M2SO4 is. Thankfully, it tells us that they put 1.42 grams of M2SO4 into the reaction to begin. And if we divide this number by the number of moles that we know were in there, 0 0.01 moles of M2SO4, we can figure out the molar mass. And if you do this, you would get an answer of 142 grams per mole. This is the molar mass of M2SO4. And we know what the mass of molar mass of sulfate is. That's about 96 grams per mole. Grams per mole. Division sign grams per mole. And we know that this molecule has two M's per molecule. So I'm going to divide this by two. So the molar mass of M2SO4 minus the molar mass of the sulfate ion divided by two will give us the molar mass of M. And it wanted the um, atomic mass, so we write this in atomic mass units, but that would be about 23 atomic mass units. And if you look at your periodic table, that is sodium.